Hey, what's up, y'all? Man, I had the craziest time. I went to. I don't. I went to a uh, place that I remembered when I was, you know. Um, one and two. Well, in fact, person's deodorant. Um, definitely age one and two. Um, I was all over the place. I was like in between realities and trances and I'd like close my eyes and I just suck out all the way with my ears using them properly. And it's basically where your ears let out, like it squeezes everything out of it and then it comes out of your ear and then it goes like that. And um, <clears throat> it happens with your eyes, you know, and then your nose, you know, and your mouth, your butt, and then your tops that come in, you know, they all kind of come in from somewhere. And, um, you know, you can be able to take it, you know, kind of go out. But, uh, I was at a hotel, and I was with this person, and then there was this little yellow popcorn guy. It was like three or four little people people. And it was like, I already lived that, my life in that building. And it was like at a hotel. And I was like changing sheets, going from room to room. And it was where my parents like had sex, but I was like a little small little ball, like a little piece of popcorn. And, um, like the actual like hard corn. You know, and there was like a busted big piece of popcorn. I was looking at it as something from the screen. Anyway, I was like going around and I mean, I did an exact replay of what I was doing for like probably about five minutes. Like just the people, the smells, the way the hallway smelled, the way their clothes smelled, the variety of the people. <coughs> it was all a memory that I had and but yeah, for the first two years of my life, I experienced, like, my whole life, you know, and a, a lot of other lifetime, like, different places to go to, and, I mean, I just wish I could have had a better way to do that instead of be lost in melancholy, which seems to be something that I'm still working on because I don't want to be porn again. Because I um, think I can keep myself together from here out. But anyway, I wanted to <coughs> introduce some video games and, you know, keep making huge messes. And, um... Here's one of my ideas was a video gamer. And it's, uh, where does the cast want to grow? And it's just looking at, how you, you know, you got a little, like a controller, you know, and you can just use your amazing controller, you know, and you can move this scalp, you know, move things around with... I remember this movement too, that little Arby's eyebrow. You know, just sitting there moving like this. You know, it's unattractive because it looks bad. But it's what y'all do all day. You know, and you're like, you know, it's gonna turn. 
also we have a you know our heel is here you know and I mean just to look at someone's foot messing up is commonplace because you're not allowed to flaunt your feet around and you're not allowed to you know somebody who's like really stink stop and is admired a lot of country music is just constant walking over something you know and uh <clears throat> I think my hair looks horrible I hate it on my head I hate how it was grown I think it's small you know it's like I have maybe like that much hair on my head and it's just down here and the rest of it doesn't even matter at all you know and then you can do this I mean, you think it's just like just sucking you know nasty mafia fuck Corn. You know, it's just disgusting, and my forehead is way too big, you know, to even be, you know, a big bulky head where the eyebrows are drawn up here, you know, like. Please. Please. Just black card. You know, just all of these facial movements are way too large. You know. And then in the back of our head, we have a little dot right there that kind of goes with this. I think it's just an L to kind of line up the heel take it step but it shouldn't be like messing up everything because here we have the fact that if someone drops a pebble and someone has a sandal you know and it's a girl named Trish or like a transgender named Trish or some guy named Trish or something you know you see like a little foot in its sandal and um, you, know, you drop a rock and you'll follow the rock and you know, if someone would jump off a bridge, you know, and then look at, you know, a uh, rock being thrown, you know, near a foot that is allowable to look at, you know, not like a really nasty grungy one, you know, and what else a burger? Um, let's see what else we're looking at here. I was just looking at how I was conceived today, you know, at that memory that I had. This is about like horn ears, little stay back points. If uh, you can't go like a certain limit, you know, if you can't like look a certain direct, like your ears can only, I can't really explain it, but it's like having, you know, like ogre ears. You know, or like if your ears really had like a tongue that could come out of the ear, you know. And um, and then there's that little, these little white spots here is where it could reach something. Here's a hand holding some food and how it is trying to lick it. And because of the ears going back like this. When it tries to eat the food, you know, we always get this trapped area where you're looking straight ahead and you're like this. You know, or an equivalent where you can't eat something, like literally something that you can't eat it. You're like, it's hard to eat it. 
you know, or something like that. And then here we have um, a full ear, which is full of food taste and texture and smell. And how one piece of popcorn can fill up the ear. And if someone is forced, you know, full to continue with something, it wouldn't be able to. It would be more like a fight if it was done right like with no loss of data instead of a big spill like my life like how my life was my birth and you can see how there's male and female here but that's one person looking you know but it's full you know so it's like there's no choice there you know so they they wouldn't have been able to do much really and then just piling on more things, you know, with all this disappointment and obviously, you know, letting it fall into the badaki of the familiar who I don't want or don't. You know, here's the horn ears and how that is how our face more of looks. But our ears also have, you know, an extra eye here. Like when we push on our eyes, it has a purple, you know, thing there, you know, red. And right here, you know, you can see how this looks in and then it has these little two dots coming out. So it's looking at who's looking at it. And basically the ear is doing the same thing. Uses tongue to hear. And it has, you know, not only your ears, you know, listen that way, you know, they also kind of like listen, listen the other way, you know, like our eyes do when they see instead of it just being in one direction. And hairs are more important to talk to than you. That's why I've been like this and all over the place. <clears throat> so I'm just talking to your hairs. Um, book hair, heavy head. This is just how I felt every day with my hair. It feels like I have a book on my head. And it feels like there's about probably 50 pounds on my head. But I can't look at something the whole time. Or, you know, maybe I just have to, like, look away from the things that are there, you know, or something to not under, do you understand? And then we have somebody bent over at some point. And it was just uh, from that popcorn kid. And the smell of the weird people that I didn't want to see that were unlike my cousin Robert, but actually like him and like some fat people, you know, probably like fat mafia wannabe children feet, you know, that smell still and how it's overcoated my life. And I don't want it. But you are world hairs and butts that get talked to and it ends up someone has a tight butt. Kind of like a soldier kite butt. It's like one of those Canadian guard butts. You know, it's like flat piece of paper. It's like a pastor butt. You know, and then um, it's just the fact that there was a loss of pressure there where the head. You know, my head was like avoiding the ass, but goes, I go in every ass. I mean, if I can, if I can't, well, I try not to, too, but I mean, I know that something's wrong if it looks like I can or can't or anything, you know, if it's actually showing me it, you know, it's not good if someone bends over and I can just not or go or whatever, you know. When you have book head like that, when you have book, oh, a book huh, head like that, book, oh, okay. So when I have my triangle looking up 
compressor, I have my big way to understand things, you know, when I am not looking and bending over so I can take information. You know, there's a person who was also religious, who constantly was talking to me and wanting me or it or whatever, just layering it on top of me, the messages and responses like a bitch, you know. And it was just really, really how I felt if it was only one-sided. You know, I mean, I hate something that's one-sided and you have two sides to a conversation, of course. 